New Little Nightmares news has come out, and it's not quite what we were hoping for. Little Nightmares 3 is now set to release sometime in 2025, and we're literally chomping at the bit to see what it will be like. But is this a good thing? Tarsier Studios crafted an unforgettable world that has made a significant impact on the horror and gaming space as a whole. However, the twist is, Supermassive Games has the reins this time. They will be the ones taking us on our next adventure through the nowhere. So what does this mean for the Little Nightmares franchise? Is the date push a good thing? Will it play the same way? Will Supermassive Games honor the eerie, unsettling legacy of its predecessors? Or will they bring a new flavor to this haunting world? Let's dive in and explore the potential reasons behind why Supermassive is making the third installment and if it will be any good. learn about all the changes Supermassive Games could make to Little Nightmares, let's learn a little bit about the studio that brought our favorite nightmares to life in the first place. Tarsier Studios, a Swedish game development company, has become synonymous with the Little Nightmares franchise. Founded in 2004, Tarsier initially worked on smaller projects and collaborations before making any significant mark in the gaming world. Some of you might remember projects like Metronome and Little Big Planet. Tarsier made those. These projects helped Tarsier hone their skills in creating engaging, atmospheric worlds, leading to their hugely popular franchise, you guessed it, Little Nightmares. And we all know about Little Nightmares here, so I won't get into too much detail. Basically, they made two installments in the franchise, but had a little help from another studio on one of them. Kind of. Enter Supermassive Games. They worked on Little Nightmares 2, the Enhanced Edition. It's essentially the same bones of the original Little Nightmares 2, but Supermassive helped with cosmetic aspects, like beauty mode, ray tracing reflections, and more immersive audio. They made it really pretty. Founded in 2008, this British game development company has made a name for itself with its narrative-driven cinematic horror experiences. Until Dawn was their first big hit. It won many awards and practically solidified Supermass's position in the horror genre. Following that, they developed the Dark Pictures Anthology, a series of standalone horror games, each featuring unique stories and casts of characters. Then, titles like Man of Madon, The Quarry, and House of Ashes showcased the studio's expertise in crafting engaging horror narratives that keep players on the edge of their seats the entire time. And this essentially lands us where we're here today. Supermassive has acquired and will basically be in full control of our next Little Nightmares experience. But the question we're all asking is, why? Why is Little Nightmares 3 being handed off to Supermassive Games? Why has Tarsier forsaken us? Actually, that's not the case, and I'll tell you why. Tarsier created Little Nightmares, yes, but the creation was made while under the Bandai Namco umbrella. Thus, Little Nightmares, the intellectual property, is owned by Bandai Namco. As we all know, Tarsier did a fantastic job. They showed they were capable of making a truly moving project practically from scratch. Well, another company thought so too, Embracer Group. They purchased Tarsier Studios from Bandai Namco, but that doesn't mean the properties they created go with them too. So, Bandai Namco probably decided the next best studio to carry on the torch would be the one that had already worked on one of the titles, Supermassive Games. So will Little Nightmares 3 be good? I think so, I think this will be a positive experience actually. And I know pushing a highly anticipated release date back can be annoying, but I think it's a sign they care about the end result more than anything. Bandai, as the publisher, will still have general guidance with the direction Supermassive Games takes this third installment. Besides that, Supermassive does good work. And I know that because they wrote episode 4 in the recent Sounds of Nightmares podcast, and it ties in perfectly with the growing world that has already been established. They have gone on record saying they are truly trying to keep the same vibes as the previous game, and they have extended knowledge in the main edition they are adding. Multiplayer. I can't think of a better choice or scenario than with Supermassive Games. But hey, that's just what I think. Let me know down in the comments what you think. And honestly, I really am curious what the community has to think about everything going on, about Supermassive Games doing this, about the pushback to 2025. Is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? Let me know. And I will see you next time. 
Peace.